Now our reporter Ashling Reardon is here in studio and Ashling ahead of the opening of the new children's hospital in St James's you have actually been visiting some of the existing children's hospitals. How are they getting on? Um, well, it's a, it's a mixed bag, really. Um, I have to say that it was fantastic meeting the staff and children in uh, the National Children's Hospital in Talla, in Crumlin and in Temple Street. And there's fantastic work being done despite some of the working conditions in the older hospitals. Yeah, they're pretty rough, aren't they? They are. Space is a, a big issue in um, some of them. So, you know what, they're doing a great job with what they've been thrown and the general feeling I got is that they all welcome the new hospital being built at St. James's, but as they all pointed out, children are getting sick now and they can't wait five to ten years. Okay, well, we're going to have a quick look now. It's the Tala was the first hospital you visited, so this is the first of three reports if you like. That's right. Look at that. It's a place that most of us would rather not be, but with lots of colour and top modern facilities, the National Children's Hospital in Tala makes it a little less stressful. Having moved from its Harcourt Street location in 1998, it now specialises in a number of areas, with many children coming through its doors. In our emergency department we see this year, of the year ending 2012, we'll have seen 34,000 uh, patients in the emergency department. That usually uh, translates into about six to 7,000 uh, admissions per, per year. So we actually admit relatively few of the patients who come to the, uh, to the hospital. In terms of the, um, the area of cystic fibrosis, we look after about 100 to 110 patients with uh, cystic fibrosis. Well, the areas that we specialize in are my own area, which is respiratory and cystic fibrosis. Um, uh, we have uh, specialists in diabetes and endocrinology, um, community paediatrics and neurodevelopment, um, um, gastroenterology, and actually we're quite strong in general paediatrics. Um, that's one of the strengths of, of, of Tala. And Mason is one patient who was diagnosed through the newborn screening programme at only three weeks old. We received a phone call from here in Tala to say that he was highly likely to have cystic fibrosis to come up the next morning to have a sweat test to confirm it or to, they didn't say confirm it at that stage, but to test for cystic fibrosis, mm. which we came up and Mason was very malnourished at the time. So he was, he was so, his sweat, sweat glands hadn't developed and he was, he was very, very skinny. He was very underweight. He had been born six, eight and he was down to five, five at this stage. So even to look at him, we were glad of a diagnosis. He, he's had a tough start, but they're fabulous here. And like I said, they're just like family. We'd be lost without them. They're really, really good. And they're on the end of the phone. And you know, they, we're taught Mason has a Broviac line, a long line in place for when he's on IVs like he is at the moment. And he's a peg feed and chew fitted as well. So that's why he looks so well now. We, like when he's off food, we can pump food into him without him even knowing he gets food at night and during the day through his peg as well. So that's been a lifesaver really as well. The nurses in the department are kept on their toes. Very busy, very day to day. You know, you come in one day and you could be back to back with patients, reviews and we would assess them and see what treatments they need, suggest the treatments. If needs be, we'll get one of the doctors to see them and they can prescribe something for them. You could have home IVs, you're teaching parents to do the treatments at home, so it saves a lot of the hospital time. We work on clinical trials as well. Um, you have clinic days, you have patients on the wards that need treatment. Um, so we're at the coordinators for the whole team, but it's, it's different every day, it varies. On a tour of the hospital, Dr Greeley introduces me to 17-year-old Emma from Mullingar, who tells me what life is like living with cystic fibrosis. It's good and bad, it's just like... When you get sick, it gets you down a good bit, but you have to keep on going. You can't let nothing get you down. Like, I still be able to hang around with my friends. I can do normal stuff that other children can do, but it's just like the amount of operations and hospitals and stuff like that, like medicine. But like all my friends are not as supportive about it, like so they don't treat me any different. So it's good, like. Okay, and what are you in for? I have to get a pore fitted because I have to get a. Antibiotics three or four times a year, and my veins are no longer any good. Okay, so. and how long do you think you'll be in here for? Hopefully not too long, <laughs> but I'd say a couple of days. Okay, and um, how do they treat you inside here? 
grand, yeah, they're brilliant. Dr. Greeley, he's fantastic. He's looking after me since I was a little baby, and Jared Clancy, she's just mad, unbelievable. <laughs> they're all lovely here. Great feedback from Emma. So what's the general reaction to the new children's hospital at St. James's? It'll be interesting to meet all the other two hospitals and their patients and to get to know them. Um, so that's going to be a big, a big thing for us, I suppose. But we know all the CF nurses in the other hospitals, so hopefully it will all go smoothly. I think the single uh, paediatric hospital is going to be good for patients, good for doctors and also good for clinical outcomes. Um, I, I don't know if it would be built in Mason's lifetime as a child, <laughs> I'd hope it would be, but yeah, like I said, I, I've been in Crumlin as well and you know, the, the, I, I do think it, it is needed, but whether it'll happen in Mason's lifetime, I don't know. Okay, well that was your uh, report on Tala there. I mean, they're certainly getting on with it, you can see that. But what is the story with the new children's hospital? How long are they likely to wait at this point? Well, the hospitals are waiting for a board to be set up so a plan can be developed. And it's Minister James Riley who is the only person that can set this board up. So supposedly he's in the process of doing this. And um, when that happens, then obviously, I mean, the, the hospital has yet to be designed. So, I mean, once the board is set up, then things can start. Decisions can start being made. Exactly. Yeah. Is there any kind of time to go? Five years, 10 years? Or well, it's five to ten years. Minister Riley had said he was hoping 2017, at the latest 2018, but I'd say that may be pushed on. Um, the staff at the number of hospitals, they're hoping within ten years. OK, great. Well, listen, that, it was great to see you inside Tala, but and you will be back over the week with uh, Crumlin and Temple Street. I will indeed. Brilliant. Thanks a million, Ashley.